the buses head south towards Mariupol. The latest attempt to evacuate thousands of people trapped in the besieged port city on the Azov Sea. Mariupol has suffered some of the worst fighting in recent days. The Russian army and Russian-backed separatist fighters have reportedly surrounded the city. Dead bodies lie in the streets. We don't have electricity, we don't have anything to eat, we don't have medicine, we've got nothing. Everything is mined, the routes out of town are being shelled, says the policeman. At the moment, negotiations about leaving with security have failed. Trust me, I have family at home and I am also worried about them, he says. Unfortunately, the best security for us all is to be inside the city, underground and in shelters. Approximately 200 kilometers north, in the town of Orkiv, the buses meant to rescue the people of Mariupol had stopped. Russian army positions are only 10 kilometers from here. Drivers, some with family in Mariupol, told us they'd heard reports of fighting on the route. There has been no connection with the city for days. I haven't been able to get in touch with my wife and sister for five days. We've tried to get to Mariupol twice already. This is our third attempt. We don't know if it will happen. After a more than two hour wait, the convoy coordinator ordered the drivers to get on the buses and leave. So the buses are now turning round. This after, according to the coordinator, of the convoy, there are reports of heavy fighting on the initially planned route to Mariupol. A group of drivers struggled to start one of the vehicles. One told us he didn't want to die. We can't go this way because there's been shelling. They won't let us go through. The checkpoint won't let us go further because of the shelling. We don't know where we're going now. The convoy headed out of Orakiv, moving northeast. Another attempt at evacuating thousands of trapped and terrified people in Mariupol had failed. Charles Stratford, Al Jazeera, Orykiv, Eastern Ukraine.